Good morning, Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little monkey this morning. I'm trying to do some editing on the laptop here and he wants to grab the laptop. So I'm trying to keep it away from him as much as possible. <laughs> Are you a monkey? Yeah. He's got his Christmas onesie on again. So wish you all a Merry Christmas. Hello, welcome to day six of Vlogmas 2022. Today I'm doing lots of dyeing. So I'm now prepping the yarn ready to dye and I use reusable cable ties to make sure the yarn's into separate skeins. So I'm setting those up and I can chat to you while I'm doing that. So I dye in my garage. <laughs> And you can see how fancy it is by the breeze block walls and the rubbish um, units that were there when we moved in um, for storage. Um, it's not a particularly professional setup. I've just got um, all the things I've needed in here. I do think that one day maybe I'll sort of decorate the room so that it is a bit more professional in terms of I'll perhaps get the walls skimmed or painted and um, have some proper units put in that are sort of more for dyeing rather than an old kitchen worktop that I work on. Um, maybe one day. The trouble is my dyeing studio will be down while I'm doing it up so that's why I haven't done it just yet. Um, so. I am wearing today a Billy sweatshirt and this is one that I made just as a sort of test um, and by modifying the length slightly at the front um, and it was just out of some leftover grey sweatshirt material that I'd got in my stash left over from another project so I thought I'd make it up to sort of test the pattern and I wear it for dyeing in which is brilliant because it doesn't matter if I get dye all over it and to be honest if you're wearing sort of cotton materials or whatever the dye doesn't take up on cotton anyway with them being sort of acid wool dyes um, but it's nice to wear something that it doesn't really matter if you get it dirty so that's why I'm wearing um, my grey sweatshirt so I've just got to get all these tied up I'm ready to dye and then I'm going to soak them in a mixture of water and uh, vinegar because the water's hard in Norwich um, even though the dyes that I use do have a mordant and uh, uh, more acidic they're acid dyes um, because the water's so hard it just helps to have that little bit of vinegar in the water so I'm going to get those soaked and I normally leave the yarn in the water and vinegar soak for about 20 minutes to get the to let the yarn soak up all that water and vinegar. Um, but I've got quite a lot of yarn to dye today so I better get on with it. I'm just going to give you a few little clips of some of my dyeing because I dye different to a lot of people. I set my yarn with a steamer rather than using a hob so that I can just leave it without having to keep an eye on it all the time but I do hand paint all my yarns but I will do a couple of clips of me painting the yarn um, so that you can see how I do it. I do have a recommendation for a book that I started with with dyeing and I will leave a link to that in the description bar da down below so that you can get started if you wanted to do some dyeing as well. So I picked up some cat litter trays which I used to soak the yarn in. Um, they're really good size for the length of the yarn skeins and I just make sure that I've got the cable ties down the one end so I can grab them easily. Now it's time to get my mask on and my gloves so they don't get dye everywhere and start the actual dyeing process. So I'm just making up some dyes first. So I tend to use landscape dyes. Um, these are quite expensive though but I think they work quite nicely. And I'm going to make some dye up into some hot water from the kettle. Yeah. 
So I tend to dye different yarns in different styles. Um, but one of the ways I tend to paint the yarn is to use a pipette. So I shall show you a little bit of close-up footage of me painting some yarn, which I then put in a pot and then I microwave, but then I also steam it afterwards because I'm a bit paranoid about things being fixed properly. So I do a short microwave um, session, leave it to cool down and then get it on the steamer later. So here we go. <laughs> So I've popped it in the microwave, I'm going to set that off um, and then we can steam it afterwards. Bye Adam! Bye! Taking his post. See you later. Bye! Just me and you Jensen. <laughs> oh I know. So what do you think of your new sock Jensen? Look I've knitted you a sock. <laughs> you like it? No. So I've just finished the actual dyeing. Microwaves are still going. Um, and this first lot of steamers are finished. But it is half past 11 at night. <laughs> it's taking me ages to dye all the current orders. And also finish off the clubs as well. So um, I'm going to leave the steamers to cool down overnight. And do the washing bit tomorrow. Because I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> but. I'm going to open my advent calendars before we go to bed and have a little bit of a relax just to sort of wind down a bit. So today's shawl is a fancy one because I thought I'd do the opposite to what I'm wearing because I'm dressed in my scruffs basically. So I thought I'd pick a really dressy shawl. So this is the Dare to Dream shawl by Boo Knits and I knitted this a while ago when I had a spate of just knitting loads of lace shawls and this one is beaded um, and I got the beads from a really lovely shop in Wales. I'll pop a link to the shop in the description bar down below because I can't think what the name of it is right now but I will pop the link in. And the yarn that I'm using is some Lickfarden yarn, uh, which is a lovely silken camel base. It's gorgeous, really lovely, silky, um, really nice quality yarn. And it's lovely to sort of dress up an outfit to go out in the evenings, but obviously I'm not going anywhere tonight. But there we go, that's that today's shawl. So today's socks we're wearing today. So I've got a sock blank knitted up into a pair of socks, and these I've just done a simple top-down sock pattern. That's um, my one of my free, just plain sock patterns. Um, but I just wanted to show the yarn off because it was knitted from a sock blank, and this one is from Hedgerow Yarns. The sock blank was from. So Adam's socks are some really gorgeous cabled socks, and I remember that the pattern was free, but I can't remember the title off the top of my head. So I will pop it in the description bar down below so you can find it um, but it's knitted with some gorgeous yarn um, that from a dyer that doesn't dye anymore so um, and also I can't remember the name so <laughs> so there we go there's today's socks of the day and hopefully soon Jensen will be able to join us with our socks of the day So because it's so late, it's nearly 12 o'clock now, <laughs> we're going to multitask. So Adam's going to get his chocolates out of his advent. Is it the 6th today? Yep. Yep. And I'm going to say yes. what the song of the day is going to be. So it's Felice Navidad. And I can't remember the person who sung it now, but I will pop it in the description bar down below and leave a link to the YouTube video. Ooh, is that your favourite dairy meal? Yes. At the moment it is anyway. Well done. Thank you. Yes. Right, so let's go and open your Lego. Lego. It's number six. Number six. There he is. 
right in the middle of the castle. It's another character. Ooh. Who's Is that it? then? It's Ron Ron. He doesn't look red haired enough. Well, maybe not. We only worked it out because we turned it round and you can see a little piggy tail, so it must be Dudley. Yep. Harry's okay. been waving his. Not Harry. <laughs> Was it Hagrid who turned Hagrid, yeah, yes. Yeah, Hagrid, Hagrid made him have a tail. Yes. So there we go. There's today's Lego.